This is module four, lessons two and three, interpreting fractions as division. So we're going to start by showing examples of what we mean. And when we have two crackers, because it says imagine we have two crackers, so we're going to draw our two crackers. And we're going to represent the crackers. These squares show the crackers. And we're going to split it evenly between two people. So there's two ways we can do that. One person gets a cracker, person two gets a cracker. Another way, though, to interpret this, I'll do it way up here, is that each cracker can get split and person one, person two, person one, person two. And when I look at this either way, I notice that each person gets one cracker. And a way to explain this in a division sentence is I have two crackers. I'm dividing them by two people. And most of you know that it's one. I'm going to show where that comes from. So I have two crackers divided by two people, and two over two equals one. So next, if this time we only have one cracker, and we want to share it between two people, well, we split it right in half, and we know that each person gets one half cracker. In order to figure that out in a division sentence, we have one cracker divided by two people, and that equals one cracker divided by two people. So one divided by two equals one half of a cracker. We have another one. This time we have one cracker, and it's being split between three people. So we see that each person gets one third. And our division sentence for this one would be that we have one cracker divided by three people equals one cracker divided by three people. So the connection here between our division sentences are, and our fractions is this. If we have one divided by five would be my example. Okay, This one is my numerator. Then we have our division sign or symbol, and that's the line that goes in between the numerator and the denominator. And then our five is our denominator. So one divided by five equals one fifth. Next, imagine we have two crackers. This time, if we had two crackers, and we want to split it between three people, this is where it gets a little different. We're going to split each cracker into three. And we're going to label one, two, three. And the first thing I do is see how many ones. So how many ones will be my numerator? And the answer to that is there's one, two ones. And the denominator is the total pieces in one pieces in one whole. So I'm only talking about one whole. How many pieces are there here? There's one, two, three. So this is two thirds. So when we write our division sentence, we have two crackers dividing it by three people, which is two divided by three. So this time we have three crackers splitting it between two people. So each cracker split between two people. We want to know how much each person will get. So, well, there's one, two, three ones. That's the numerator. And one whole is split into two pieces. That's the denominator, which makes one and a half crackers. So then we do three divided by two equals three divided by two, which equals one and one half. We have four crackers this time. being divided by two people. So we have one, two, three, four ones out of the two crackers, two pieces in the cracker, which is four halves, which is two. And we say four divided by two equals four divided by two, which equals two. One last example is if we have five crackers, oh, I almost drew six, and we're splitting them all into halves. So 
So we have five ones, one, two, three, four, five, but one hole is only split into two. So it's two. So it's two and one half. And down here would be five divided by two equals five divided by two equals two and one half. So if they asked us, they wanted you to do one divided by, sorry, we'll do four divided by six and show an example. You would do four divided by six And then I would know that there was a total of four ones, but there's only six pieces in there, so it's four sixths, and I can simplify that to two thirds. And that's how we use fractions as division.